In Minecraft Survival, I've built houses, villages, and castles with no risk of losing my worlds. But today, that changes. I want to create a brand new world using the seed building with TTM to challenge myself with building a beautiful Minecraft world filled with villages and towns while trying to survive on one life in hardcore Minecraft. We have started in a hole. The first thing anyone must do in a hardcore world, chop down some wood. And I'm gonna leave this piece floating. I'm not strong enough to do it. Now we must craft a crafting table. And of course, make a wooden pickaxe. And I'm gonna leave this crafting table here. And of course, we need some stone. I hear a skeleton. I don't like it. Move on to stone pickaxe. You might think that diamonds and netherite are the best items to aid you in surviving Minecraft. The first thing you'll actually need is food. Without food, you could die of starvation, and you also need food to regenerate health. The second item we need to survive is a bed so we can sleep the night away and avoid the scary mobs. Oh, good sheep. A bed. And now I think it would be a wise idea to try and locate a village. Ooh, pumpkins. I must have them all. Ooh, some coal. Is there any iron anywhere? That's as far as I'm going in that cave. Look at all the poppies. They're so pretty. And time to sleep. Uh, how do I get down from here safely? Ooh, there's a blacksmith. Potatoes. And there's a diamond. And some armor. And I hear loud zombies somewhere. Please tell me there are beetroot. If you're new here, you're probably wondering why I want beetroots. I play on a server for content creators called the Igniter SMP, and I have a bit of a thing for beetroots. And I strongly dislike carrots. <laughs> I don't want the beetroots. You must. I don't want to. I don't want the beetroots. Team beetroots. Hashtag team beetroots. No. Whoa. No. Ooh. Stinky. Alas, I'm so desperate. I will take the carrots. <gasps> Beetroot seed! But I mean, this is another world. Maybe I can tolerate carrots. Ooh, and some more iron. And let's go ahead and smelt that iron. Oh, zombie. Another zombie. More caves of scariness. I think this spot is absolutely perfect. We can put a village maybe down here. Speaking of villages, there's another village here. And we can put a castle on this mountain. There's some iron. I'm gonna get some torches real quick. Be brave, TTM. Be brave. Oh, that's a baby zombie. Baby zombie. Yeah, I, I, I'm very brave. There he is. You will die. Ah, <laughs> I'm brave. I am a mighty warrior. But I'm gonna get this iron really quickly and get out of here before anything else happens. You know, I'm, I'm not going to judge. You having a good time, buddy? Okay. We already have enough subsidian to go to the nether. Ooh, savanna. And iron, but oh, that that's a risk I'm not taking. Now I need some leggings. And we're pretty armored up for the most part. Now using these materials, I would love to get a, or a shack of some kind. It's definitely not the best, but it's definitely not the worst. I think it'll do until we build the castle. And now with these diamonds, I am going to craft a diamond pickaxe and diamond boots. Because in order to feel safe while building a castle, I need feather falling. Turning this guy into a librarian to get a feather falling book. And now we can buy the book and add it to the boots. I feel much safer already. And now I want to begin planning out the castle. So let's get some basic shapes in here. And I think this will do just fine. And now before I can build this castle, I need to go to a Stony Peaks biome and get some calcite. So let's go exploring. Man, this seed is awesome. Mission accomplished. And 13 stacks of calcite should definitely do the trick. And now I think we finally have all the materials to build this castle. So let's get started with the castle walls. And while I'm building, you should subscribe. It's free to do and you can always unsubscribe later if you choose to. And the castle walls are now up. But of course, it's looking 
empty inside. But before we can fix this, there are several places along the wall where I want to put some towers, so let's do that now. And the tower walls are complete. And we have some unwelcome guests. Okay, I'm gonna use this shield. Why do you guys have to ruin everything? Oh! Oh my! Oh, that's that's low. That's low. Whew, that was scary. That was the scariest experience in this entire world. Okay, now let's work on the first building inside of the castle. And now let's put three towers in the holes in the roof. Say that three times fast. Then I decided to go ahead and place in the last building. And with the final building in place, the castle is now complete. Except for the end. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, the end. I'll do the interior another time. Now I think it's time to tear down little starter shack. And now we need to move all this stuff inside of the castle. And we're all set up inside of the castle. In every episode of this series, I want to plant a beetroot field. And while I'm planting this field, please hit that like button below, as if this video gets 20 likes, I will dye my Minecraft hair blue. And now I want to come in here with spruce planks and coarse dirt and create some roads. So we're going to use the spruce planks to represent heavily traveled areas. Coarse dirt to mark areas that aren't traveled on a lot. So maybe something a little bit like this. The castle is filled in with coarse dirt and spruce plank. Now I would like to continue this path all the way down there to the village. I have an idea to make this castle look even better. What if we add three layers of this hill and add retaining walls? I then got to work tearing up the land to make new land followed by adding in the walls. Now for the fun part of getting enough sweet seeds to fill up the field. Okay, I know what you're thinking. If I love beetroots, why am I planting wheat fields? One of my favorite blocks in the game is the packed mud block. To craft packed mud, you need regular mud blocks and wheat. So this is the first stage of being able to craft packed mud. Now, we need to connect it to the ground. Now it's time to go find a mangrove swamp. Yes! Dark oak wood! I will take a, some of that. Ooh, and some jungle wood too? My builder senses are tingling! At last! We have found it! And now that we've found it, it's time to destroy it! Finally, I can see the castle. That took an hour to get there and back. Now I need to plant down my new saplings. And soon I'll have a lot more options of blocks to build with. Now it's time to craft up a bunch of packed mud. Now, what should I do with all of this packed mud? While I figured that out, you should go check out this video where I die almost every minute. Enjoy!